a penthouse view. Darling, I love you, but give me Park Avenue. Do, 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 do. Do it because I couldn't hold it any longer. But it was oh, you ever get those meat sweats? Yes. I don't even yeah. know what meat sweats. Meat are. sweats are like oh. when you have to poop so bad you're sweating. Yeah, your hands are sweating so bad. Oh. You've like it's the like, poops oh. knocking at your butthole's door, oh. and you're getting turtle. sweaty, and you're like, oh. We call yeah. that turtle and a poking. Yeah, <laughs> turtle like, yeah. Poking. It's a turtle and a poking with the meat sweats. And it's <laughs> like, what do you got to tell us? Okay, so what? school there's this one teacher and he would not let us go to the bathroom Aww. literally I once I had to go to the bathroom super bad I was sweating yeah and I'd ask and I'd say I I'm about to have an accident he'd still say no really and then our teacher came over and asked us to stop talking I looked at her and said but I have to go to the bathroom really bad and she said can you wait no yeah. Did you get to go? Yeah, I finally got to go. After oh, thank Ken God. Ken decided to finally say go. Thank oh, goodness. Really? I'm glad you got to go because that would teacher, be embarrassing. I had, I had to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she was always like, do your visits before school starts. It was yeah. just like the bell just Why is that up. like a thing? Grade. I hate how that's a thing. And I yeah. went up to her and like, can I have the bathroom? She's like, sure, but I'm going to have to, like, move your slip or whatever. And mm-hmm. I didn't want to because, like, I was a good noodle. Like, I didn't want, like, a will <laughs> bread. And so I went up to her, I'm like, I, I'm going to poop my pants. Oh, and she's like, oh, okay, just go. <laughs> <laughs> I told her I had to go poop my pants. But they were going to well, move the chart for a bad student because uh, she had to go to the bathroom because she didn't go before that's class. That's not mm-hmm. fair. That's stupid. And the that's time they fair. give you before, well, elementary school might be different, but at least like in high school, you've got like seven minutes to get to, to get your room. You go and that's if you got to go to your locker and you might be on other sides of the building. How am I going to shit in that time? Well, they're really acting like there's like no lines or anything. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. A lot of people go to the bathroom during breaks. And I'm not going to go poop when everybody's in the bathroom. Okay. One time I went to the movies with my <laughs> sister <laughs> and we walk in there into the bathroom and she thinks that it's only her and I in the bathroom. Oh, no. And I start going to the bathroom, and then you hear this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. It's and my lady. sister, so someone's in the bathroom, and my sister was outside, and she was, oh, my God, you're so disgusting. Oh. <laughs> And I started giggling because I knew that did not come from me. Yes. And then she goes, oh, you're so immature. Now you're giggling about me. And I'm like, and then I, I come no. out of the stall and she goes, what is your problem? And I'm just crying. And I'm oh, laughing like that. I you know, you're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. with no sound. And then she goes, what is your problem? <laughs> oh, my God. Did you hightail it? Yeah. Oh. And so we, I washed my hands really fast. We went outside. We were standing there because the line was still not open to go into the theater. Yeah. And oh, we were no. standing Here out in the person. hallway. And the person had to come out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> was it somebody you knew? Oh, oh dear. Was that old lady? No. No, it was like oh. the same age as us. Oh, yeah. And then she kind of looked around. <laughs> She came out, and I said, it was her, and then my sister just lost it. Oh, my God. Okay, so we got another episode we got to Oh, God, we do. But this one's going to be quicker. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready? Well, we'll try not to. Welcome to Those Two Chicks Chicks with with a a Podcast. podcast. (laughs) Okay. I'm Mary. I'm Kathy. (laughs) What are we supposed to say after that? Nothing. We're mothers to those two chicks with a podcast. <laughs> wow. Happy Mother's, not Mother's Day. Happy Friday before Mother's Day. Yeah. Um, Those were our mothers. They were in the last episode. <laughs> they were in the last episode. You guys probably maybe heard. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We're famous, so I'm sure you listened to it. Yeah. Uh, it's been a rough day. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah, what time is it? It's already it's noon. Long. Oh, wow. No way. Well, that's why I'm hungry. That's why I'm, I'm hungry, too. But I'm always yeah. more late arriving. So, so were we. That's it's true. okay. But that's you true. know why we were late? I went to get coffee this morning at mm-hmm. 9 because I knew we could get ready and we had to be here by 10. At 9.55, as we're all getting our shoes and jackets on, Kathy goes, oh, I got to go get a big B. I'm like, I was out getting coffees. Why do you got, why now? We were going to be on time for one. 
But no, she had to get a big B. Big B. She got lost, so. And she I was daydreaming. Well, I was daydreaming. Well, I was daydreaming. And, I, and you know, 30 at 55. Because <laughs> I was behind somebody that was going slow. And okay. Like, hay and debris was flying out the rust of their truck. Ooh. Yeah. So I decided to turn off on the road I wasn't going to take. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so then I'm driving, and I had in mind that I would turn on a different road than connect with the road that I wanted to be on originally. Oh, wow. But as I was driving, I got distracted, and I thought, Oh, shoot, I think I just passed that road. <laughs> and then I was listening to the podcast, and I got to laughing so hard. And then Emma had to call me saying, Mary, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> and then I really got to losing it because I couldn't find the road that I wanted to connect with. So yeah. I had, like, my blink run for, like, a mile and a half. <laughs> and I kept saying to Emma, well, I'm going to leave at such and such a time. So I... And I'll stay focused so I don't drive slow. Mm -hmm. Well, I looked down, and I was slower than I ever was <laughs> slow in the beginning. So I was like, I looked down, and I said, oh, my God, I'm only going 30. But I couldn't even see over my <laughs> cheeks. You were laughing. And I was laughing, and my eyes are watering. I have my that's dangerous. eyelash extensions. <laughs> so when they, your eyes water, they yeah. burn. Yeah, and, that's oh my hard. God, I was laughing yeah. so hard. And I thought, oh, my God, I found the road. So then I get on the road, and then I'm, I'm driving, and then all of a sudden it's like, damn, did I turn off and I wasn't supposed to? Because this isn't even looking familiar. Oh, no. And then I'm like, oh, my God, Emma is going to kill me. She is going to be so mad at me. Where am I? And then I'm still getting over the, and I just all of a sudden burst into laughter because I'm listening to I, I would I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> and the previous podcast. And then I finally found where I was at. And I thought, oh, thank God. I know. I didn't, I didn't make a mistake. Smoke. But my brain, I'm just so brain fogged. Yeah. Yep. But it's always yeah. so, like, scary because... Uh, this the way she was taking it, like I drive this all the time, and yeah. so I know it takes like a half hour. So when it's like 45 to 50, I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> like, are hello? you coming? She's like, oh, sorry, I'm going 40. I'm like, it's a 55. What are you doing? Like, I'm just <laughs> enjoying the drive. Because that's fine, but you gotta tell me. I, like, you know what I did spot on the way here? Mm -hmm. Just to say. A willow tree. Oh. And I thought, there you go. I do like the willow That's tree. That's what she said she wants to be when she's reincarnated. A willow tree? Oh. Three mothers here today. Jordan has two children. I did. Kathy has four, and my mom has three. We have a Mother's Day trivia for you guys. Oh, oh no. Did you guys write your stories, by the way? Yeah. Did you get your story finished? You guys are each telling a story. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> I got her so good with that this morning. She was like, she was like, huh, huh. It was really funny. I thought All right, was anyway. So um, these are from Google. If they're wrong, take it up with Google. But How do we buzz in? If we're counting dogs, um, then it's five. Okay. Just go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Do it. Okay, and then I'll say your name. Okay. 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 What is the official flower of Mother's Day? A, a red rose. B, a a red carnation or C, a yellow daisy? <coughs> okay, Jordan. She doesn't know. A red carnation. That is correct. Shoot, that's it what seems, I was going to say. It seems like a mother flower. Yeah, yeah it's a mother flower. The, flower. Yeah. What were you going to say? She was yellow daisy. Red rose. I would rather have a daisy. Yeah. A daisy. I, I don't even like cut flowers. Oh. Yeah. A daisy seems like something that would be a flower you would like. Mm -hmm. A yellow it daisy. It would be a daisy, but I don't like cut flowers because they yeah. die. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just right. let them live outside and smoke it until they die naturally. And what? Let them live outside. Oh, I thought you said smoke it. Naturally. No. Smoke good? <laughs> <Smoke wood. laughs> like smoke, smoke a daisy. daisy. Smoking herbs? I don't know. <laughs> no. All right. Smoke a daisy. All right. Question two. <laughs> okay. What country was the first to recognize mothers with an annual day of celebration? A, England, B, Germany, or C, France? A. <laughs> oh. Okay. I don't know. Just you can know. let one of them go. All right, Kathy. France. No, that's incorrect. That's not what I was thinking. I said England. That is correct. That's what Aww. I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Very good. If you were the mother, mother, why didn't the queen mother? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Because I was yeah, letting them go. Right. We all said aunt at the same time. Right. All right, so Jordan has one point. Mary has one point. Kathy, you have zero. That is okay. <laughs> you <Loser. All right. laughs> Three more Loser. questions. Loser. What's the prize if we win? <laughs> Bragging rights. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> What <laughs> year did Mother's Day become an official holiday in the United States? Oh, A, no. 1902, B, 1915, C, 1920. <laughs> Jordan. 1915. That is correct. <laughs> Why do you always 
take my answers. <laughs> Why don't you bus faster? <laughs> because I didn't want to get wrong. Well, I, was, I didn't have that name. Jordan is in the lead, but there are two more questions. All right. Mother will win. What well, mother this will one. win? <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> She's not very good at games. <laughs> no. So, in Britain, Mother's Day is known as A, Mother's Day, B, Day of Mothers, or C, Mothering Sunday. <laughs> Mothering Sunday. That is correct. <sighs> did but you did look out? I did not. I swear no, to God. I didn't I, she didn't tell me any of her questions. No, Wait a minute. I'm just going with whatever sounds like it would be say. right. It was her turn. She just. She just I, blurred I, out was yeah. she I was the she first one. You blurted. You blurted. I agree with me. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you guys, just know. because you ladies are slow and struggle. <laughs> I think she should be a limit. We have yeah. no. How old is the oldest woman to give birth? Oh. A, 62. B, 74. C, 86. Eh. I'm just going to guess because no one else is guessing anything. Yeah. 62? That is incorrect. Okay. 76. That's not a You game. didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pause enough. either. Yeah, you didn't. Do you, mean, no, do you, do you do mean Hold seven? Go ahead, Daisy. 74. 72? That's not an answer either. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ladies listening? All right. We're going to repeat these. Okay. Mom. Between you two, we have 16,000 <laughs> answers. So it's either 74 or 86. Oh, it was 74. That's correct. Yes. yes. That's crazy. I know. <laughs> Probably just powder came out with the baby. It was just oh, like, ew, ew. <laughs> but I remember because was was that the case of the woman that was carrying like a surrogate yeah. for somebody else? Oh, and she still had those parts because that's lost mine at thirty something. Did she have like a C-section or did she have to? Oh, after the last child. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we don't have to talk about that. Oh okay. my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go first. All right, I'm gonna go first. Um, for our listeners, I told you last Tuesday what we're doing. Fridays are our funny days, okay? Mm-hmm. So, but we're doing creepy mother stories this episode. Mm-hmm. Everyone get your creepy crawly creepy fingers out. <laughs> that sounds like a kid's show. Yes. <laughs> creepy moosey, creepy moosey. No, just, so, just so you guys know, we're summoning demons. All five of us are just putting our fingers up creepily by our faces, so... Okay, well, I wanted to tell you guys the legend of the weeping woman called La Llorona. La Llorona? That's how Lucas told me you say it. Because I was like, La La Lola, La La Lu. It's La Llorona. La Llorona. How about my Verona? Do you remember that song? No, it's La Llorona. What is that? Is that a Yes, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what it is. So like I said, this is the legend of the weeping woman called La Llorona. The legend tells of a beautiful woman named Maria who married the most handsome man and had his children. Now, Maria herself was like gorge, okay? And she could get like any man she wanted. So everyone in her, her little town was like trying to get with her. But she was bored of all of them. And then she saw this one traveler come through town. And this is the the man she ended up marrying. And he had his own little fan club, you know, because he was really gorgeous too. And all her friends were like, don't marry him. Like, he's, he's a, I don't know what you want to say. I was going to say a really inappropriate word. But he's with a lot of women. Mm-hmm. Um, but, womanizer. Yes, womanizer. But Maria had her heart or set on him. him. Okay. Had, had her heart set on him. So... Right. She married him and had his children. Through the years, he lost interest in Maria and would only visit to see his children. Then one day, Maria saw him in a carriage with another woman, a younger, prettier woman. Oh, that's not nice. Yeah, and in a jealous rage, Maria took her children to a river and drowned them to get back at him. Um. She wasn't thinking clearly, and when she realized what she had done, she drowned herself because she couldn't stand the thought of not having her children well she should i know it's kind of i don't feel that bad for her honestly um now the story goes there's there's two different variations of the story um this was the first one but maria wandered the earth after her death in search of her children as she was not allowed in heaven because she killed them and that's people around bodies of water will hear a woman weeping a very tall, slender woman in a white dress. 
Now, the other variation of it is that she killed her children, but she didn't kill herself. But she was grief stricken. And she ended up just roaming the streets. She wouldn't eat. She wouldn't sleep or anything. So her dress became all tattered. And her arms and her legs got so skinny. She looked like a skeleton. And her once beautiful face just became old and saggy. And creepy. Like your face. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> hey, minus the I skeletal part. I just the it. saggy and creepy. <laughs> I knew it was coming. And eventually, as she was walking up and down the river, still looking for her children, she collapsed and died. And now mm-hmm. she haunts. So I just wanted to tell you guys, there's... there's Many different origins for this legend, and I wanted to tell you guys some because I thought it was interesting. So it's um, in early colonial history, showing that it's like pre-Hispanic. It or originated in the Central Highlands, and it's most associated with the dynamic between the Spanish conquistadors and indigenous women. Okay, so they say that La, La Llorona was an indigenous woman who murdered her own children, which she bore from a, a wealthy Spaniard after he abandoned them. Oh. Yeah, so that's that's their legend. There's mm-hmm. so many different cultures True. who have their own version of this creepy woman. Um, and then it actually also dates all the way back into the Aztec times, um, and it's a mythological story to them, and they call it, it, it translates into the hungry woman, which... Is named the hungry woman because we all be hungry sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, but their story includes a wailing woman constantly crying for food, which mm. same, which has been compared to La Llorona's signature nocturnal wa- wailing for her children. That that's just what it's compared to. Don't no. know the correlation there. And it's also been correlated to i'm not going to say the goddess's name because i can't it's like Chihuda but it's a goddess who is <laughs> seeking um seeking her children but a monster devoured them because of filth and sin of their culture Ew. so she's seeking her children but they were devoured by Ew. another god okay, or monster like and um in the United States, it's basically just, there's no backing. It's just a story that parents tell their children into acting correctly. Um, it's to deter children from playing near dangerous waters as they tell the children that she's around there and she will drown you. Oh, Spooky. wow. Then um, stories of this in Venezuela, too. So it's in multiple cor- cultures. Um, there are like creepy little videos you can go online and find it and other people's little creepy stories and it, essentially she's just a woman very tall very slender tattered dress who's just like all the time I'm hungry I'm hungry I want some way where did we go camping I watch him again we went camping to a campground and the history of that was called hungry mother it was the Hungry, hungry Mother, Mother Camp. Oh. Right? Oh. Yeah. yeah. And we went there, and mm-hmm. the legend in that area, and I don't even know if it was like Virginia or someplace. I really don't know. Really? Oh, That's cool. Look that up. Hungry but Hungry Mother Campground. And the mother, it was an indigenous, I think, people. It, they That's were probably the colonial the one. Yeah. yeah. And um, the baby survived, and the mother was hungry and that's all the things that the baby could say was hungry mother hungry mother and they found Uh the mother dead because she starved to death and they were trying to get escape somewhere oh that's sad Mm -hmm. remember that Mm -hmm. there's many different versions there's like the mother either killed the children the children died and she didn't Mm -hmm. have a part in it but they just drowned Mm -hmm. so she's constantly searching for them um but like i said the most common one was the first one i told you guys about she had two boys So the origin of the legendary Bell Witch is, of course, a mystery. In early accounts, the spirit itself provides origin stating, I am a spirit. I once was very happy, but I have been disturbed and made unhappy. Ooh. (laughs) Sounds like me every day. (laughs) Yeah. Hmm. I am the spirit of a person who is buried in the woods nearby and the grave was disturbed. My bones were scattered and one of my teeth was lost under this house. Oh, I think I've heard this too. story. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I think I've this. heard this. Okay. Horses cannot be verified. <laughs> <laughs> Are this. you sure? Yeah. So it's named for the family she is believed to have tormented. 
this poltergeist was once known as Kate Batts. And 1800s Tennessee, she had a land dispute with neighbor John Bell Sr. and became notorious. <laughs> Wait, there's another podcast who did this exact story. Okay. She became notorious for her bad behavior towards him. But things got worse when she died. Ooh. So it was said that Kate had five kids. Oh. Like, she was a parent. She had five kids. But things got worse when she died. His children were attacked in their sleep by unseen hands. Household objects moved on their own. Ugh. And the first appearance of the unusual disturbances surrounding the Bell family is usually reported as an incident on the farm in which John Bell fired a shot at a dog-like creature which vanished. Ooh. The children also began to see strange creatures near the property. Oh, I hate that. These sights are accompanied by strange sounds and around the house. The whole family began to hear unaccounted for knocking on the door and windows. The sounds of wings flapping against the ceilings and the sound of rats gnawing on bedposts. More disturbingly, the sound of choking and strangling could be heard along with chains dragging and heavy objects hitting the floor. Sounds from the, bed, from the bedroom as if beds were suddenly and roughly pulled apart to which was added the sounds of fighting dogs chained together making the noise deafening. Ooh. In all cases, the source of the noise was never found. No rats were found in the house despite uh, thorough searching and no damage to the furniture was ever discovered. During these demonstrations, the family refused to speak of the events to their neighbors. The spirit increased its activity, and a lot of it was towards the children. The children were subjected to being struck, pinched, and having their hair pulled relentlessly by the bell witch. Ooh. The story goes on that her, her ghost went to, on to poison Mr. Bell, and at his Aww. funeral, her voice could be heard singing a drinking song. <laughs> Today, her presence is less feared <laughs> and more of a tourist attraction. <laughs> that is creepy. Yeah, yeah. Yours was really good. Why did you say yours wasn't good? <laughs> it was just, it wasn't as, like, motherly. Yeah, but day. still. Yeah, but she was a mom. She just tormented <laughs> yeah, other people. Nice. That's, that's honestly what I would do. I love my kids. <laughs> other kids um i had one more story that i found that i thought was creepy i'm gonna tell you one more story that i thought was creepy this is from uh the website whatpad by author Maisie win i don't sometimes i just want to do this Maisie. okay and i'm just gonna read her story this was the one i was gonna do first but i'm like oh this is way too short because these are these are her series of short horror stories which are actually really good so if you just want to read some little creepy stuff. I'll put her username in the website in the show notes. So, okay. When my sister Betsy and I were kids, oh. our family lived for a while in a charming old farmhouse. We loved exploring its dusty corners and climbing the apple tree in our backyard. But our favorite thing was the ghost. We called her mother because she seemed so kind and nurturing. Some mornings, Betsy and I would wake up and on each other's nightstands, we'd find a cup that hadn't been there the night before. Hmm. Mother had left them there, worried that we'd get thirsty during the night. She wanted to take care of us. Among the house's old original furnishings was an antique wooden chair, which we kept against the back wall of the living room. Whenever we were preoccupied watching TV or playing a game, Mother would inch that chair forward across the room towards us. Ew. No, she's trying to watch them. Yes. Sometimes, that's mine. Sometimes she'd manage to move it all the way to the center of the room. We always felt sad putting it back against the wall. Mother just wanted to be near us. <laughs> Years later, long after we'd, move out, we'd moved out, me warm. <laughs> we found an old newspaper article about the farmhouse's original occupant, a widow. She'd murdered her two children by giving them each a cup of poisoned milk before bed. Then she'd hang, she hanged herself. The article included a photo of the farmhouse's living room with a woman's body hanging from a beam. Ew. Beneath her, knocked over, was that old wooden chair placed Ew. in the center of the room. Ew. Ooh, Emma, do your whistle. Yeah. <laughs> Creepy. Oh, that's like a wind howl. I just can't whistle. Yeah. They, thought, they thought she was being kind and caring that whole time, but really she murdered... Her children mm -hmm. and, and hung herself in the middle of the room i think we're about ready to be done i think we've lost every everybody here um hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh what do you have something to say oh 
No. Oh my Thank God. you for having us. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Know, I, I, I saw, I saw a show yesterday. <laughs> you saw a show yesterday. I did. And it was, on, I don't remember what channel it was on, but I thought, oh, I got to tell Emma this because... It's not in Michigan, but it was, I think, Wisconsin. Remember that Baraboo? We went to Baraboo. Was it, was it Margarine is the New Butter? The cheese Is that the show you saw? Yeah. With Large no. Marge and their okay, cheese maybe curds? maybe it wasn't even Wisconsin. Maybe it was another state. Minnesota? Minnesota. I don't know, but it was Barnum and Bailey Baraboo. <laughs> Wait. Baraboo? Is the name of the city in whatever state it was at. Baraboo? Baraboo, Baraboo. was Google. the... Oh. Where they had the circus. Remember we went to the Ringling Brothers last circus mm -hmm. performance and oh, they had that little thing? Awesome. That whole entire community is haunted. Ooh. Really? Yes. Ooh. Road trip. I know. That'd be fun. But it was yes. it, it was spooky and they had this huge, like, um, gorgeous. Was that when we went and saw the Adams family? No. Okay. Tennessee. Oh, that was good because mm -hmm. I would have been <laughs> scared and wouldn't want to go back because that yeah. place is haunted and it's beautiful. Really? It's like, you know, like a, like a state theater, but multi, bigger, Ooh. much, much bigger. Ooh. And that is haunted by a very evil spirit. But there was women that moved into houses that were haunted, and they had to leave and move. And it oh, ended up being, um, and it was called Mounds Road is where she lived on. Okay. And it was because as it went on sacred, look at how excited sacred I am, <laughs> on sacred indigenous grounds. Ooh. And... They had, like, where they built these mounds, they had, they did um, different designs. So from an aerial view, you could see the mounds, and one of them was of a man. Ooh. And they built a road right through the legs Ooh. of the mounds, and you can still see the image. Oh, and then on the other side of the, of the road is the feet of this mounds of the man that the, the indigenous people had created. Oh. And there was like a oh, lot of... Oh, so we drew, we put a road through the... the into, yeah, yeah, that's why, yeah. And so now the whole entire town, and that's why it's called Mounds Road. Yeah. But it's in Baraboo, and that was like really, really fascinating because yeah, it's be haunting everything. Yeah, that's really cool. In that whole city. Do you ever remember that haunted house that used to be on 131? Yes, I went there. Oh my God. So I did I. Somebody. I did too. My mom took me. <sighs> and I was young. And we went with this other couple. And I guess I was down in the basement with my mom. And the guy came after me. So I guess I jumped on her back and ripped her coat and just oh. took off like, you know. Oh, house yeah, like, oh you mean like it was like a Halloween haunted yeah, house? Yeah, it was a Halloween I thought you meant house. you just went to a house that oh, was haunted. Oh, no, no, sorry. No, no, that was like Grandma Barb it. took you oh, to a house scary. that was haunted. And then there and, was and a the, cemetery outside. Oh, it was so scary. It's a gorgeous house now. Yeah. And oh, I was not so, a haunted house. I was so terrified in yes. the basement because they yes. get people going, ah. Yeah, and, and they had this you. guy with all the scissors, a doctor yeah. with all these scissors in his coat. And I, I was scared about killed us. somebody trying to run out of there. Yeah. I really was that terrified. I've, that's how good it was. Well, we want to go. You know happened. what would be a good mm -hmm. idea? No. We should go spend the night at a haunted hotel, like a haunted bed and breakfast or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that'd be Henderson, fun. The Henderson Castle in Kalamazoo is oh, supposed to be haunted. That'd be cool. Uh, it's very good. Tip. I just I think it's know. interesting, and I never really realized this until I was researching stuff more. Like, I always thought things that were haunted, it's because someone died there. But now mm -hmm. they say, like, things could potentially be haunted just from the, you know, we all have energy in our bodies. And if it's somewhere where someone spent a lot of time, like some people say like the Grand Old Opry is haunted. Mm -hmm. No one's died there. It's like just that. so much energy has happened in that mm -hmm. building yeah. that once someone passes on, part of the energy still remains. And that's, it's we just. visited there. Right? Yeah, it's just Tennessee. energy in a loop. Mm -hmm. Well, we hope you enjoyed this uh, random episode. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. You, you just go. Just go, please. Just leave. It's never going to end. Just go. Just get out of here. Turn off your radio. Kathy can't move.